In this video, I'm going to talk about the levels of input-output access. There are many input-output devices in our computer. For input, uh, you can use keyboard, you can use uh, mouse, uh, or scanner, webcam. They are all input devices. For output devices, we have monitor, we have printers, or other you know, devices. Uh, when we write a program, we need to do the reading and also to do the writing. Uh, and we have to know how to access uh, to different input-output devices. So that's about the topic uh, in this video. From this uh, previous diagram, we know the CPU communicates with input-output devices through buses. Uh, input bus, uh, control bus uh, or address buses. Um, bus are parallel wires uh, that are transferring data from CPU to your device or from your device back to the CPU. Before we talk about uh, the hierarchy diagram of input-output devices, uh, we're going to talk about device driver. Uh, device drivers are programs. Uh, it allows uh, your operating system to communicate uh, directly with uh, the hardware devices. Uh, whenever you have a new uh, device attached to your computer system, and uh, your device must be recognized by the operating system in order to be used. So the device driver is a program allow uh, operating system to talk to the device in order to do the reading or to do the writing. Device drivers can be pre-installed in their operating system or to be installed when you attach their device to your computer system. Now let's talk about uh, the input-output hierarchy diagrams. Input and output operation can be done in these four levels. Uh, you can do input output in the application program level. Uh, if we are writing C++ code, uh, you can use a library function. Uh, you want to do uh, reading from the keyboard, you can use uh, CIN. You want to print to the monitor, you use C out. So C and C out are library functions uh, inside uh, our program. That can be used uh, to pass down the input output uh, uh, functions or statements uh, to the next level. The next level is operating system level, uh, level input output functions. Uh, usually we are uh, calling them uh, API functions. Uh, API functions uh, allow operating system talk down to the next level of input output operation functions. Under uh, operating system input output functions, uh, we have BIOS function. Bio functions are a collection of uh, low-level subroutines resides on the computer's uh, motherboard. Um, BIOS uh, program is usually installed by the computer's manufacturer and is tailored to feed the computer's hardware. BIOS like we said, is a software stored on a small memory chip, usually it's ROM, ROM memory chip, or today in modern computer can be a flash chip. So BIOS program uh, is a firmware on the motherboard. BIOS functions provides not just uh, uh, you know, access to the 
input output of uh, their hardware device. BIOS also allow your microprocessor to start uh, your computer system. And when you turn on your computer, uh, your computer is running the BIOS program to prepare your computer to be used. So BIOS uh, functions manages the data flow between your computer's operating system and uh, the attached devices. Again, their attached devices can be hard disk, video adapters, keyboard, mouse, printers, monitors. So, under the operating system input output uh, functions is uh, BIOS, BIOS functions. Uh, BIOS functions can talk to the hardware, and the hardware is a level zero input output functions. For the level zero, input output functions that can send and receive data from hardware ports. And uh, you can have direct control of your specific uh, devices. So that's the level zero input output functions. From this diagram we can see input output functions or operations will be passed down to uh, the hardware levels layer by layer. So we call this hierarchy structures. As an assembly language programmer, you have the power and the flexibility to use any of these levels input-output operations. So as a Program. When you write your assembly language program, you can use the library function to do the input output. Uh, for this book, we are going to start uh, programming in assembly in chapter three. Uh, you're going to see soon in chapter three, you are going to use uh, the book's library function. So we can use the book's library function to do the input output for reading and writing. Or we can use operating system uh, functions in the API to do the reading and writing directly. Also, we can use the BIOS function. The functions uh, under microchips, we can use them to do the reading and the writing directly. Or we can directly access to the hardware to send or receive signals. So what's the trade-off? You can use different levels of operations for input output. What's the advantage? What's the disadvantage? Usually, if you write uh, your input output uh, in the uh, library function level, application level, your input output code uh, are portable. Uh, so you don't have to worry about specific uh, hardware, specific uh, operating system or BIOS chips. You don't have to worry about anything um, over here. So the code you writing in library functions are portable. The, if you use uh, input output op functions inside OS uh, system, and you have some speed because it's one layer closer to the hardware. However, the port uh, uh, their code is not necessarily portable. Depends on their operating system. If we, uh, uh, you have the same operating system across different computers, 
uh, there could be you know portable otherwise not uh, same thing here uh, if you use the BIOS function to do the input output directly uh, it could be portable or not portable depends on what kind of BIOS you have in your computer motherboard if you have a standard BIOS uh, chip you know that could be true that means it could be portable uh, otherwise it's not uh, if you do your input output directly by accessing to the hardware and uh, that means you are reading or writing directly by talking to the hardware uh, your code generally is not portable because uh, you know you're accessing to a specific uh, hardware maybe a, a video card uh, audio card that manufacturer specific so your code uh, you use for reading and writing maybe not portable however as a assembly language program uh, especially when you're writing a gaming software you want to gain some speed by control the hardware directly so you can use the level zero input output uh, functions by accessing to the uh, you know hardware level. So the beginning of this section, uh, we have some tips. So this is for the gaming developers, and uh, so as a gaming programmer. Uh, so you have to learn all the different levels, uh, input output functions. So it's a choice. Uh, it's about the speed or about the portability. Here in this uh, area, we have an example and suppose you want to pass a string or you want to display a string on your monitor uh, this is uh, the steps involved uh, first your library statement or library function um, library function will be called for display the string then in step two the library function is going to call the operating system function and at the same time pass the string pointer step three the operating system functions in level two will use loop to call the bios subroutine or functions uh, same time passing it to the SML code and the color of each character. So operating system calls uh, BIOS routine to advance the cursor to the next position on the screen. In step four, the BIOS uh, function uh, receives the character and maps it to a particular system found and sends the character to a hardware port attached to the video controller card. Uh, step 5, level 0. The video controller card generates timed hardware signals to the video display and controls the raster scanning and display of pixels. So from this uh, stream example, we can see how the commands of input output operations are passing down from a higher level to the hardware levels. Thank you for watching this video.